Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to look at the uh, Divi accordion module and accordions are wonderful things to have on your site. I quite often use them for FAQ sections, you know, frequently asked questions. And also there are great things for services as well if you're offering different services and you just want to have a title and it pops out and there's a description of your service. But how you use them is entirely up to you, but they are great things to have on your site. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And I've got a section, the blue tab, and inside that section I've got a row with two columns. I'm going to work on the second column here. I'm going to hit the little black button to add a new module. And there it is right at the top. Divi comes with all these modules as standard and there's pretty much everything you need to build any sort of site. If you're selling products and have WooCommerce installed, you'll also get another dozen modules. So let's select the accordion, just left click on it. And there it is, let's move it out of the way over here. And by default, it'll put in a couple of dummy ones for you, one and two. I'm not going to do any styling to the main element itself. Uh, you can put in backgrounds and, and uh, do various general styling here for everything. I'm going to work on my first one. It's right here that hit the little cog. Put in whatever title you want to put in there that makes sense for whatever it is. And down below in the block, body text. Just like any other WordPress text module, you can put in text and make headings and do whatever you want, align it, etc. You can add images with the Add Media button too. I'm going to leave mine just like that for expediency. So once you've got your heading and content in, down below that there's a link. Anywhere that you click on this module, you can have it linked to somewhere by putting a link in there. If you're linking to an external site, I suggest you select open in a new tab, internal site, if you're linking to the same site in the same window. That way your site stays open all the time and you don't lose your visitors. You can choose a background color here, but I'm actually going to do that in my design tab. So let's move on to the design tab. And first thing is the icon. Well, that's the icon right there, and we're just working on this top one, remember? So if you want to see what the icon is going to look at, like on the top one, simply open the second one here. It'll close up the top one. And to choose a color. Keep this fairly simple also. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can hit that little switch and adjust the font size there. I'm happy with the way that is, though. Now we move on to the toggle. This is the actual column element itself here. And open toggle background color. Well, that's an open toggle, but remember we're working on this one. So let's just do the closed one because this one's closed. Let's make that background color black, whatever color you want to choose. Just hit the color palette underneath. You can choose plenty of other colors, or you can just type in the hex code of whatever color you want by just clicking on the color and typing in the code right there. So we'll leave that like that. For the open one, I'm going to leave it just as it is. I'm going to have a white background there. Of course, you can choose a different color. And again, if you want to see it, just click the open toggle there. Um, when we're in the builder, I've noticed that sometimes the colors get a bit mixed up between the open and close, but on the front end, it works perfectly. Or if you adjust another setting, it'll go back to how it should look. Down below that, we've got a general text button where you can align everything and style everything, both open and closed. I'm going to leave that just as it is because I want to do mine individually. So we've got the title text here, which is the open title text color. We've got this open at the moment. As you can see, this is reverted to looking like how it should do. Let's make that blue. make it semi bold and let's perhaps make it uppercase fantastic you can make it bigger or smaller 
letter spacing, line height. You can change the font if you want to. And Divi has a crazy amount of fonts included with it, so you're not going to run out of styles. But for expediency, I'm just going to leave mine on the default. So moving on down, you've got one now for the closed title text. So let's just close it up by clicking on the one below. And let's just make that a color we can see, either white or that purple color will do. And again, you can style it, make it bigger, smaller, capitalized, however you wish to do it right here. I don't want to do anything else to that text. Body text, well, I'm happy with that too. But of course, you can go in and change colors, font styles, all the usual things you want to do with that. But I'm going to leave mine just as it is because that works for me. Don't want any text shadow. For me, using text shadow on small text kind of makes it look blurry to me. We won't see it until we open this other one up here. Kind of just makes it look blurry to me on that small text there. If we take it off. To me, it looks a lot tidier. Now, sizing wise, this is about the sizing of the actual whole element here, because we've got this element in a column. And at the moment, it's taking up 100% of the column space, which is what we want. If you wanted it to be smaller, just pull it down like this. Remember, we're just working on this top one at the moment. Make it smaller or as big as you like. If you make it smaller, you can align it middle, right or left. But for me, I'm happy for it to take up 100% of the available space. Moving on down, we've got spacing. Really don't want to change anything here. If we close this one up again, you can make it bigger or smaller. So let's give it, say, 50 pixels padding top and bottom. And of course, you can give it padding left and right, which pushes everything in. But for me, again, I'm happy for it to be fairly slim there. That's actually quite nice with a bit of padding either side, so I'll leave that. You can add a border if you want to. And you can do all four at once, just the top, just the right, just the bottom, or just the left. So I'll use them all at once. Let's give it a couple pixels, and I guess I'll use that same color again. And you'll notice when we open it, it'll have that border color around the outside of there as well. If I just change that color and change it back, it should go back to the default. There we go. So that's going to be how it looks with the open. And just for a little touch, let's add a bit of box shadow to lift it off the page just a little bit. And I think we're happy. Now, as soon as you're happy, we can move on down. I don't want any filters or transform on this today. As soon as you're happy, we can save our changes, which will take us back to the main accordion where we had those two. And what I'd do, I'm going to delete the second one. I'm just going to clone the first one for however many you want. That way you've got the same styling or you copy the styling across if you didn't want to do this. Simply go into there, change the title for the next one. And obviously the content, whatever you want to put in there. Rinse and repeat for the others and you're good to go. So let's save this and see how it looks. I'm going to save my changes, save the main accordion changes. I'm going to save the page, or save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And here we have it. There's our little accordion. There's an open one. As soon as you open the next one, it'll close up the previous one. Like I say, that's a wonderful little effect to have on your site. I often use it for frequently asked questions and also for services and things like that, but use it as you will. So that was very easy to do. So that's the accordion module with the great Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.